Kalalo Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Racha Akwadash. Real quick, um, watching this TV show um, called Manifest. I don't want to play the audio because, you know, but this is uh, the second part of season four. Um, and it starts off with uh, these people. Um, I don't want to give the whole backstory, but basically, sum it up they're right now in a uh, detention camp or detention center um and as you can see the the, the tv show that just started um and i see this as they're walking the guy on uh the guy on the back let's see if it if it plays the um and you see that ah shit let me uh run it back a little bit Try to pause it where he says it. When they walk in. Oh. He says, another day, another scan, right? And look what look <coughs> excuse me, look what they do. What's that right there? What? What? <laughs> come on, man. Come, come on. Scan ID tab. And obviously, there's nothing on his wrist, right? You don't got like a a wristband or anything like that. You see exactly where the light is shining. Let's keep going. Let's see. Scan ID. Scan ID tag. Boom. And as you can clearly see, that they're living in a uh, detention camp. Hey, it's 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 the, the writing is on the wall, man. They're putting it out there. Call Lay How about Shimao Shai about Shimao. Look what they do. Look what they do. Look what they do. What's that right there? Shalom, shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Let's give all praise to the Most High. Name is only begotten the Son, and even the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar. I'm the prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole flood scattered, uh, scattered abroad. The show Manifest, Netflix series Manifest shows detention camps and hand scans where people have been implanted with technology okay and this is what you just seen on the screen this is from the the, um, the elder uh, his channel is stay in the spirit 144 and this is a beautiful video you know and i started watching the show a while back and i i, I didn't finish it and i, I stopped watching it because you know it, it kind of got boring but um in these shows in these movies man i was going into this last night in my live in these shows and in these movies, they do they, they they have something called productive programming where they're putting it in your face what's coming. You know, and I find it funny how just a couple of days ago they was talking about this whole debt ceiling thing, which a, lot, a majority of these jakes know nothing about that. They don't pay no attention to it. They just go about it they, they every day and chops and cheeses, you know, and, you know, smoking cigarettes and shit, man. But Jake have no understanding of what's coming, you know, when. Just the other day, you know, this guy Biden had to make a decision on this whole debt ceiling thing. And he said that well, they, they kept on saying that if, some, if, if they don't come to, a, to a, a decision, the economy was going to collapse. OK, and it was which that was the first ever time they had, you know, they, they had to deal with that. And, and you had these other nations, China, Russia and Iran laughing at them. man. All right. Because it is inevitable that this economy is going to collapse, man. And if that kind of economy had collapsed. They would have had to bring in a new you know, digital currency, which is inevitable. They're going to do that anyways. OK. And they would have had to bring in a new you no know, digital currency, you know, which would ultimately lead to the to the Karagma. And ultimately, they would have had to bring in order out of chaos. They would have had to, you know, because there definitely would have been chaos. You know, if people go to the store and they find out that their cars don't work or, you know, um, their money has no value anymore. Hey, people going to lose their shit, man. So they will have to bring in the military and eventually everybody will be, you know, um, um, you know, uh, cornered off in these um, in these FEMA regions. 
and they would have had they would have had you in these camps man you know in order to eat in order to to, to do anything you know get something to drink you know get medication you would have had to have um submitted to this system okay and they would have they definitely would have made you take that karagma which is this is all coming this is all coming down 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 the pike man all right so it's spiritual that the elder has showed this because that's that's their plans and like i said if, had they not passed that depth ceiling maybe you would you, you would already be in these damn camps you know getting you know your daily another day another scan okay and they scan you every day and you saw how they showed you in this clip how after he got scanned they went to he went to a cafeteria where people were you know pretty much you know being imprisoned you know this is the future of america man okay and it's only a matter of time they keep trying to put it off put it off put it off but it's only a matter of time the scripture says the vision is yet for an appointed time and then and in the end it shall speak so the lord warned us of these times that we are coming into so to start off on and get revelation chapter 2 verse 10 fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried uh, and ye shall be have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, these prisons are detention centers, you know, FEMA um, camps, you know, uh, um, um, really concentration camps. And they're gonna, you know, round people up and start putting and start putting them in these buildings, and, and ultimately going going tell them if you want to get out, you're going to have to, um, you know, take this, you know, technology, man. Which is what you saw that man, you know, had in his hand, okay? And it, it, was, it was spiritual because that guy was a Jake, you know. It was, it, it, you know, the, the man that he was, I thought it was weird, okay? I thought it was weird how, you know, this guy right here is an Israelite. You know, he a Jake, you know. He appears to be a Jake. And you got this guy behind him, just, you know, it seems it, it seems like he's coursing him through. He, he don't like he really want to do it. It says, another day, another scan. He don't like he want to do it, but this guy's, you know, got a firm grip on his shoulder, like kind of like pushing him towards it, man. Okay, which 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 which, which, which further re represents the time that we're coming into. Okay, let me grab this real quick. Um, oh, let me go to eleven. It says, "He that hath an ear, let him hear." Saith this, uh, what the Spirit saith unto the churches: He that overcometh shall not be hurt in the second death. So ultimately. We're going to have to come this um, time that we are coming into where they're going to try to force us, which is this, this is going to come down to the hour of temptation, man. When they when they shut this motherfucker down, okay, I just did a video about how they're going to shut these lights off. When they, when they shut this motherfucker down, everybody say, I ain't doing this, I ain't doing that. You don't know what what you're going to do unless the Lord put the spirit on you not to do it, man. Because, because because you know, you, you ain't, you, a lot of you people, you eat every couple of hours, you don't fast, you know. So once, so once you feel a, a little bit of hunger pains, you gonna go go in there and, and do what you gotta do, man. Okay, same thing with that with that Yabaruski. Everybody went in there and, and, and did what they had to do. Oh, and they had all these excuses. Oh, my job, my 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 grandparents. You know, I want to travel. Everybody had their own excuses or whatever. Same thing is gonna happen with this right here. It says Revelation chapter ten verse um so like Revelation chapter three verse ten because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So Lord willing. Because we serve in the Lord, we, we don't even end up in these camps, you know, but there's a chance that we might. Even if we do end up in these camps, the Lord gonna make a way out for us, man. And he gonna he and he gonna keep us from taking this daily, um, another day, another scam. Okay? It says, and this is what it's gonna be like, man. Every day you're gonna have to scan to you know, scan your 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 hand and your forehead to, to, to get food, to get water, you know, for 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 our wear um uh uh, welfare checks all right it says i will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth so as you read as you know in revelation 13 it says that he shall cause all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive this karagma in their right hand or in their forehead okay and this man he actually happened to put his hand up there right where people are you know knownly get um get getting this this technology at now you just had this guy Elon Musk who just got approved, FDA approval to put it in humans' brains. So this devil is definitely moving. It says, "We shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown." And look like this guy right here is taking his crown a little bit because he's pushing him towards it, man. You know, we, 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 obviously he already had it, but 
You know, just look at his face. You know, he don't like, like he, he don't like he, he really want to do it. And this is a predicament. A lot of you Jake's going to be a lot of you elderly Jake's, you know, a lot of you Jake's that's, you know, stuck on medicine, medication. You know, that's why you got to take care of your health. You got to, you know, hey, man, pray, ultimately pray to the Lord, man. Pray the Lord have mercy upon you and he deliver you from these times that we're coming into. All right. Let me go to um, Revelation 12 and 12, because this is going to happen fast, man. You know, now it's going to seem drawn out. It's going to seem like it's taking, taking a while, but this is going to come fast, f faster than we think. You know, especially in the time of, you know, World War Three, all hell can break loose and they, you know, declare war. And then all of a sudden now you're under martial law, you know, especially in, in, in the case of a disruptive event when they're already saying that they're going to shut off the, the, the um, you know, the Internet and, and, and your communications. You know, I mean, no more phones, man. You know, people are going to be losing their mind when they can't go, go, go on Instagram or, or, or Facebook. We got motherfuckers going on Facebook every day telling the whole tell, t t t telling AI and. The CIA, you know, how they're feeling to to, to our day, you know, these people are stuck in, are, are, are stuck in the matrix of this place. And when that's threatened, they're going to do anything they can to get to, to, to get these things back with you, which you'll never get them back. OK, you're never going you, you know, you're not going to be able to eat the same food again. You know, you're never going to be able to, you know, freely go on the Internet and do what you want to do again. man. all that shit's going to be cut. Um, it, 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 it's going to be cut, man. All right, so let's go to Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto, uh, which means destruction and misery. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, because they about to come down with great wrath. And we all about, about, about to be catching hell, man. I saw a video the other day of fucking chickens, you know, baby chicks getting, they was putting them in this machine to inoculate the chicks, man. And then they were putting in, they were still, you know, put up, you know, the, the chicks were alive, and then they will put them, you know, in the boxes to be sold. You know, so they're inoculating chickens. So by the time this chicken grows up, you know, I mean, that this chick grows up to be a chicken, you eating this damn poison, man. Okay, scripture says, our, our bread is defiled among the Gentiles, man. So they know they got a short time. They're coming down with great wrath. It says, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. They know their time is short. Okay, they know their time is short. All right, so now they finna start, you know, uh, uh, um, pushing the envelope, man. You know, it's gonna get real, real draconian. And then it's gonna come a time where if you speak out against it, you buck up against it, they gonna have a military troop right, right there, ready to butt your ass in a in a, in a damn mouth with the back of the barrel of the gun. And you gonna you gonna you gonna wake up with your head on the auction block, man. I'm on the on the chopping block. All right. This is this is this is what the Lord is preparing us for. And this is why this is this is why He sent the prophets out there to warn you. Okay, let's grab that real quick. Cause you got all these people that 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 that, that just don't know. They they, they they confused. They they can't see it. You got all these camp leaders telling them it's this, is that, and the third. But you are gonna find out the hard way, man. And and, and it's gonna be a, a a scary thing to find out. You know, it's a, it's a scary thing to to get. I told you so. You know, when 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 you already got it, man. You know. Which ain't, we ain't, ain't nobody gonna, we ain't gonna be around to tell you I told you so. You, 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 you just gonna know. You know, you fucked up. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. So when this is coming, it's coming to pass, and lo, it will come. So it's coming, man. No matter whether you believe it or not, no matter whether you, whether you can see it or not, it's definitely coming. And when it gets here, everybody's gonna know that who the true man of the Lord was, who the true prophet was, man. We went into that. I got to do a video on it, but it's God that came to our camp um, last week. You know, he, he, he was he was a student of HOI, and he was saying how you know their their camp, you know, the, the whole HOI camp is pretty much divided on what the MOTB is. You know, some people believe it's spiritual, some people believe it's physical, some people believe it's both. So really, these guys don't know, and really because they they, they are they are they are not truly men of the Lord. Okay, a a a a a, a Zabak is not a prophet, man. You know, we, we say, you know, the guy's a great teacher, but, you know, when it comes to these prophecies, not so much. All right. It's the Lord, 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 then did, is not dealing with him like that. All right. But yeah, man, this, this is a time that, that, we, that, that we're coming into, man. OK. And everybody who don't, you know, get right and serve you how about Shmi Hey, hey, this is going to come upon your ass like a breach ready to fall, man. You know, when you least expect it, now your ass, you know. Get 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 in another day, another scan. All right, and you can't say we ain't warn you. Let's go to Second Ezra chapter sixteen. Hmm. 
verse 68, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. So you saw they was in this damn FEMA camp. You know, that that, that, that means they're going to take away certain of you. Look at this. It's, it's, it's all it's all in this hand. You know? It's all in this hand, man. Like the, like the elder said, it ain't, it ain't going to a, 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 a band. It ain't going to a ring. It's going to a fuck. It's pointing at a skin. All right? It says... To take away certain of you being idle with things offered unto idols. So they're gonna take away you from from your houses, cast cast you out of your houses, okay? Spoil, spoil your houses, and they're gonna put your ass in one of these camps, man. All right. And the Lord said that's something to go out here. The Lord said the scripture says, uh, um, Second Ezra. Let me see. Actually, I right had the top. Let me grab this first real quick. Oh no, that's it's fifteen. It says uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen. Verse 1, it says, Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So anybody that's not prophesying, the Lord didn't put it in your mouth. But uh, those of us that's all prophesying, the Lord put these things in our mouths to go out there and warn the people. It says, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear none of the imaginations against thee. Let not the, the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Because they, they, especially the elders and apostles, started when they had elders and apostles, the great men on down. They were, you know, scoffed and mocked and, you know, ridiculed for teaching us. Okay. It's June. Ain't no micro. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, guess what? All you guys going to eat your fucking words, man. Every, all, all these false prophets are going to eat their words. And, and, when, and when this come down the, the, the pike, hey, as El Apostle Har say, these camps are going to scatter, man. Okay. They're going to lose it, you know. And this is why they show you, you know, you know this is why they show you in these, um, in these movies and, and, and such, you know, it says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, and, and death, and, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted whole, or, the whole earth, and her hurtful works are fulfilled. So, like in my break, I'm fucking already running late. So, let me knock this out. Let's go back to Second Ezra chapter 16, verse, um, verse 69. It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot. You can have their foot on your neck, man. It says, For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. It shall be like madmen sp sparing none, but still spoiling those that, that 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 fear the Lord. For they will shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses and kick you out your house and put you in a FEMA camp. It says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So you're going to know who the true men of the Lord is when it's come to pass, man. You know, you're going to you know the nuisance. You got Jake saying, "Why well, y'all, y'all, all y'all ever talk about is MOTB? All y'all ever talk about is this, is that? Well, you gonna know who the real man of the Lord is when, 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 when that, and that's all you, that's all you seeing on the news, okay? That's all you seeing on the news. That's all you seeing anywhere. All right. But yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna say, Shalom, Kolmishrala, Baba Bar, praise, blessings, be edified to the whole elect. Shalom.